trigonometric equations. In the previous video, you learned how to solve trigonometric equations where the angles lie in the range between 0 and 2 pi radians. Those solutions are called principal solutions. You will now learn how to give all solutions of a trigonometric equation. These solutions are called general solutions. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel and activate the notifications. It is very important to the continuity of this channel. A general solution of a trigonometric equation is a formula that gives all possible solutions. Drawing the unit circle helps to understand how we can obtain the general solutions of a trigonometric equation. Suppose we want to solve the following equation. Sine of theta equals one half. On the unit circle, we put the reference angle, pi divided by six radians. And we need to answer the question, what other angle has the same sine value as an angle of pi divided by six radians? Angles with the same sine values meet the unit circle at points with the same y coordinates. To find angles with the same sine values, draw a horizontal line across the unit circle. The second angle is in the second quadrant. The second angle is pi minus pi divided by 6, or simply 5 pi divided by 6 radians. Suppose we now want to solve the following equation. The sine of theta equals minus the square root of 3 divided by 2. We see that sine of theta is negative in quadrant 3 and 4. The angles are 4 pi divided by 3 and 5 pi divided by 3. But instead of writing 5 pi divided by 3, we can write minus pi divided by 3, because the sine of minus pi divided by 3 is the same as the sine of 5 pi divided by 3. So, we can conclude that the sine of supplementary angles has equal values. So, if we want to solve the equation sine of theta equals sine of beta, we know that theta is equal to beta or theta is equal to pi minus beta. However, we know that the sine function has period to pi radians or 360 degrees. That is, it repeats every 2 pi radians. Thus, there are many other possible solutions for the equation. We get all solutions of the equation by adding integer multiples of 2 pi radians to these solutions. So the solutions can be written as beta plus 2 pi times k or pi minus beta plus 2 pi times k, where k is an integer. Solve the following equations for all values of theta if theta is measured in radians. The sine of theta is equal to square root of 3 divided by 2. The reference angle is 60 degrees or pi divided by 3 radians. We can write sine of theta is equal to sine of pi divided by 3. Sine is positive in quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. The general solutions are given as follows. The sine of 2 times theta is equal to minus the square root of 2 divided by 2. The reference angle is 45 degrees, or pi divided by 4 radians. Sine is negative in quadrant 3 and quadrant 4. We can write sine of 2 times theta equals sine of 5 pi divided by 4. The general solutions are given as follows. The sine of theta minus pi divided by 3 is equal to 1 half. The reference angle is 30 degrees, or pi divided by 6 radians. 
sine is positive in quadrant 1 and quadrant 2. We can write sine of theta minus pi divided by 3 is equal to sine of pi divided by 6. The general solutions are given as follows. Now, we will be concerned with trigonometric equations that involve the cosine function. Suppose we want to solve the following equation. Cosine of theta equals minus one half. On the unit circle, we put the reference angle 60 degrees or pi divided by three radians. And we are looking for all the values of theta for which cosine will have the value of minus one half. So, let's take a look at the unit circle. Angles with the same cosine values meet the unit circle at points with the same x coordinates. To find angles with the same cosine values, draw a vertical line across the unit circle. Cosine of theta is negative in quadrants 2 and 3. This means that one solution is an angle that terminates in the second quadrant, and the second solution is an angle that terminates in the third quadrant. We should note that the angles have the same measure, but one is positive and the other is negative. In the second quadrant, the solution is 2 times pi divided by 3. In the third quadrant, the solution is minus 2 times pi divided by 3. So, if we want to solve the equation cosine of theta equals cosine of beta, we know that the theta is equal to beta or theta is equal to minus beta. However, we know that the cosine function has period to pi radians or 360 degrees. That is, it repeats every two pi radians. Thus, there are many other possible solutions for the equation. We get all solutions for the equation by adding integer multiples of 2 pi radians to these solutions. So the solutions can be written as beta plus 2 pi times k or minus beta plus 2 pi times k, where k is an integer. Solving this equation for cosine of theta, we get cosine of theta is equal to square root of 2 divided by 2. The reference angle is 45 degrees, or pi divided by 4 radians. We can write cosine of theta is equal to cosine of pi divided by 4. Cosine is positive in quadrant 1 and quadrant 4. The general solutions are given as follows. We will first isolate the variable containing term. Cosine of theta is equal to plus or minus the square root of 2 divided by 2. We have two trigonometric equations. From the first equation, we get the cosine of theta is equal to square root of 2 divided by 2. The reference angle is 45 degrees, or pi divided by 4 radians. From the second equation, we get the cosine of theta is equal to minus the square root of 2 divided by 2. The reference angle is 3 pi divided by 4 radians. The general solutions are given as follows. But now we are going to draw the unit circle and use more brain to solve this equation in a practical way. We should notice that the angles differ by multiples of pi divided by 2. 
So, since every multiple of 2 times pi is also a multiple of pi divided by 2, we can combine those four separate answers into one. We can write the answer as follows. The left side of this equation factors. So we will start with the factoring. We now solve each of the factors. This created two trigonometric equations. From the first equation, we get the cosine of theta is equal to zero. From the second equation, we get the cosine of theta is equal to minus one half. We draw the unit circle. The cosine of theta is zero when theta is pi divided by two or theta is three pi divided by two. We should notice that the angles differ by multiples of pi. So since every multiple of two times pi is also a multiple of pi, we can combine those two separate answers into one. We can write the answer as follows. The second equation has already been solved. Now we will be concerned with trigonometric equations that involve the tangent function. Suppose we want to solve the equation tangent of theta equals the square root of 3 divided by 3. On the unit circle we put the reference angle pi divided by 6 radians and we are looking for all the values of theta for which tangent will have the value of the square root of 3 divided by 3. So, let's take a look at the unit circle. To find angles with the same tangent values, draw a line through the origin of the unit circle. Tangent values are positive in the first and third quadrants. The angles are pi divided by 6 and 7 pi divided by 6. But 7 pi divided by 6 is the same as pi divided by 6 plus pi. The tangent function has period pi radians. That is, it repeats every pi radians. Thus, there are many other possible solutions for the equation. We get all solutions of the equation by adding integer multiples of pi radians. So, if tangent of theta is equal to tangent of beta, the solutions can be written as beta plus pi times k, where k is an integer. Tangent of theta is equal to minus the square root of 3. The reference angle is pi divided by 3 radians. Tangent is negative in quadrant 2 and quadrant 4. There are two points on the unit circle with tangent minus the square root of 3. 2 pi divided by 3 and 5 pi divided by 3. We can write tangent of theta is equal to tangent of 2 pi divided by 3. The general solution is given as follows. Tangent of 2 times theta is equal to square root of 3. The reference angle is pi divided by 3 radians. Tangent is positive in quadrant 1 and quadrant 3. There are two points on the unit circle with tangent square root of 3. Pi divided by 3 and 4 pi divided by 3. We can write tangent of 2 times theta is equal to tangent of pi divided by 3. The general solution is given as follows. Solving this equation, we get tangent of theta minus 3 pi divided by 4 is equal to 1. The reference angle is 45 degrees or pi divided by 4 radians. Tangent is positive in quadrant 1 and quadrant 3. 
we can write tangent of theta minus 3 pi divided by 4 is equal to tangent of pi divided by 4. The general solution is given as follows. <coughs> 